going live a little early. Just, uh, yeah, going to hang out here at the menu screen until such a time as the scheduled start time. Just having this menu screen here so that we can see something, so that people can see that, yeah, I'm here. Things are going to happen. Maybe we can see whether or not people hear the tick, tick, tick when I scroll through this menu right now. I mean, they should be able to. I haven't changed my audio settings at all. But you never know. PCs are weird sometimes. And we now have two minutes until the scheduled start time. And one minute to go. Also, seriously, Seth, they they freaking show his face in concept art. That's kind of kind of odd, considering what lengths they go to to not show it in official materials. But then again, I guess concept art is concept art. I guess that's just proof that he was conceptualized to have a face. And in 10 seconds, I'm hitting this continue button. All right, let's go back into Resident Evil Village. Where we have got a giant fish monster to deal with. Ah, he was falling asleep and almost fell off his chair. That's what makes him make that noise. So we want to go this way. I also want to get back here somehow because there's a treasure chest and I want it. Before I go forward, he said the exit's underwater. He sure did. Let's just see if there's. Nope, can't go that way. Is there any direction we can go other than. The direction we have to go? Doesn't look like it. 
I know I shot down a thing over there that created a path over there. Which leads me to believe that maybe there's a path to be created closer by. But if there is, I don't see it. Gut scar. By gut scar, are you talking about the thing that's like directly above the muzzle of my gun? Because if so, that might not be a scar. That just might be that he's got so much fat that his rolls are folding in on themselves. I've seen something similar happen in someone who was not quite as prodigiously girthy as him, but it's something I have seen. And we've already visited that outhouse, so we've just got this way to go. This crank is old and busted up. It feels like it's going to snap any second. I hope it doesn't break. The only other one we have is over at Windmill 2. Dinosaurs. Come on. There we go. One more. So now that we've got that poultry, I kind of want to go back and uh, hand it to our uh, food storage person. Welcome, Ethan. Don't let up yet. We just need one more meat, and then we get great health increase. I want that one more meat. I can meat. hardly wait for the next ingredients. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen as I step onto this. <clears throat> Apparently nothing terrible is going to happen. So I could have turned the crank. Or maybe it would have snapped instantly before actually turning, but, uh... Yeah, before I do anything that's gonna do anything, I do like exploring my options. So, can't go that way. And it looks like can't go that way, but... Can go this way. Shame I can't pick up those fish. I'm sure they'd be totally fine if cooked. Yeah, look at all these. They're just going to waste. Well, at least we got handgun ammo. <laughs> yes, hello. I'm not looking for fish food. <laughs> so I'm guessing that crank would have done absolutely nothing. Oh, 
looks like we can create a path from over there, but a path to where? Well then. Oh, it also raised this. Not that that's crazy helpful, but that raises the blue stuff. Okay. And this raises the orange stuff, but it doesn't make the blue stuff go away. Looks like we're also going to need the white stuff. Oh. Um. Whoop. I'm guessing I'm dead. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, so we gave that a yank. Which means we go across here, give this a yank, and it looks like the uh, these things don't stay up for very long. Yeah, gotta repeatedly re-up them, it seems. Magnum ammo? Okay, but how about a magnum? So we've got orange, white, and blue. Looks like we need them in the order blue, orange, white. Is there anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. Blue, orange, white. You know, if it's doing all that jumping around... You would think that it would be able to do rude things to Ethan more easily. The best at what? Okay, so we can get over there. Looks like there should be a path over to here, but there is not. Maybe the water level is going to lower and we'll be able to take that later. So now we're back up here, and we can give this a shove, and then get across. Though, uh, definitely need him to not be doing that jump while we cross. Okay. Well, he's not here right now. Thankfully, we are given the time to just slash that instead of needing to shoot it or anything. Chill your jets, buddy. So that'll raise something, and I don't see anything else to do here, so raise it we shall. myself a big one yeah we need to get out of here. 
Yeah, I mean, this is a big boat that has already sunk once before. Wow, that took a surprising number of hits, but it lasted just long enough for us. So this is windmill number two, I guess, which means that our crank should be here. Really, you're making me shoot this law? Nice jump, buddy. Hey, we got a crank in a Resident Evil game. Um, yeah, no kidding, I can't climb up it like this. Oh, I... Do they really... They had me take the crank out, only to ask me to put the crank back. Oh, looks like I can climb up it like this. Thank you, whoever put all the yellow paint on this. Made it interactable. Close. And we never tried cranking this before, but it looks like its crank fell out while we were gone. Okay. Okay, so we need white, white in this spot and this spot. We need blue, 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 and then a line of orange. And this one right here where the knife is needs to be dark. So orange. I, I can't turn this off. Oh, I see. It's rotated. Okay. So this needs to be blue, and this needs to be blue, and that needs to be white, and this needs to be blue. Okay. That was barely a puzzle. Got it. no way to go over there. That's unfortunate. October 1st, a sunny day. 
Mother Miranda brought me five peoples from the village, just like I asked it. I made them sleep with some liquid, and then I put kadu in their tummies. I'm looking forward to the kadu to grow in their tummies. October 2nd, a cloudy day. Four of the people from the village are dead this morning. One is almost a lichen. I sent it to my lab on the mountain. I failed again. Mother wants strong vessels, but I cannot get any. I will need more people from the village. Well then. Neat. So we just got a high capacity mag for this. So let's go ahead and equip this for now. And this will be our handgun of choice for a moment. Why do, you, why do you gotta lob it over the thing? Expose yourself. Oh, we're out of ammo for that. Um, uh, minor issue. Um... He does not like these, that much is clear. Am I? Oh, uh, yeah, let's stay under here. Quite as uh, high a reach as I had hoped. I don't want to stop. I want you to stop. because I'm out of gunpowder. Can make this because I'm not completely out of gunpowder. There we go.
like that, huh? Dang it. Because you're trying to kill me. It's fairly simple math, buddy. Oh, hello. Um, this is going to hurt us both. Hurt him more, though. Boom. Gross. In death as he was in life. Disgusting. I really should have explored around this place more. Could have gotten my hands on many more goodies to fight him with. Probably shouldn't have put that in. Because we're probably going to be able to upgrade the capacity more very soon. my health looking like orange it's not red we can probably take another hit just making absolutely certain we visit every little spot where they can hide things Because if there are things to grab, I would like to grab them. And it looks like we have probably grabbed all of the grabbables. I'm not seeing anything else. The exit's up ahead. So how many bullets can we put in this thing right now? It doesn't say. It will if we examine it. 17. That's actually not bad compared to this 22. Rate of fire is better. 170 power instead of 160. Might be worth it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and equip this for now. And then immediately unequip it so that we can equip the knife. Oops. And now we're in Moreau's little hidey hole. Mother Miranda gave me a rose jar. No one likes me, which is why I thought they would leave me out again. But Heisenberg said that was why we each get a rose. The ceremony cannot happen without us all there. Mother didn't seem to care, though. Mother said Rose is a vessel. With a vessel, Mother can get her real child back, even though she has been dead for a very long time. But if Mother does, then what will happen to me? I'm not her real child. W would she abandon me? No, I don't want that. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Many no's. I'm amazed that this TV is still functioning. Of 
gross. Is that alive? Looks like it. better off than I thought. Who's that? Oh, come on. We just met a while back, not that it really matters. You're the last asshole in my way, aren't you? You've got to fight. I'll give you that, Ethan. But what's the plan when you have all four flasks? What are you trying to get at? I could lend you a hand. Not trying to get on my good side? I don't get cocky. I'd kill you if you weren't worth the trouble. There's a stronghold not too far outside the village. Go there and get my flask. Do that and you pass. First, head back to the graveyard. Self-centered prick. This bucket's yellow. That means I should be able to interact with it. And since both our shotguns are empty, let's put this one on our shortcut. Because this one hits harder. Alright, so we got everything here. Shame it doesn't let us just hop over this. Oh good, we can come back through here. And this way, too. Because I didn't even get everything in here. Yet I did get everything through here, so I don't have to care. So let's look around carefully. Why is that light red at the edge of our screen and white at the center of our screen? Oh, I know what it is. It's it's the health pulsing. It somehow turns the entire light red. For reals though, what did I miss in this area? I don't see anything shining at me. Well, we'll be coming back through here at some point. Or maybe it's just up here? Aha! Found it. Ah, so now we can just walk across here, huh? Game, please. All right, I'm guessing at this point that this is a labyrinth ball. I'm guessing wrong. Probably worth a lot, though. And there be fish here. Hello, catfish. Did you just survive a knifing? Or did you harm me? 
Well, clearly my knife isn't going to cut it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where are you, catfish? Can't see it. It didn't despawn, did it? Oh, hello. Wow, two shots, huh? Sturdy catfish. And that's it. So four sir er, now we have six servings of fish. So, we still haven't found the labyrinth ball for this labyrinth puzzle. I guess we'll be finding it elsewhere, like perhaps with those chickens. I swear they better not bring out a second Mr. Snuffles. I'm not equipped for another Mr. Snuffles. And yet we gotta go past Snuffles land. So, we can unlock this, but you know what, before we go that way, let's go this way, because, uh, like, we were specifically told to go to the graveyard, which means, I mean, yeah, this is the way we need to go, which also means that if anything's going to be newly in this town, it'll be there now. Whereas this is a direction we haven't gone, and Moreau's hidden weapon sounds like a thing I want. So let's go for that. At least I think I don't have the ball for the labyrinth puzzle. Yeah, I don't have any balls. Don't take that out of context. So if we shoot a crow from far enough away, the other ones don't get scared. That was not far enough away.
Oh, great. These things. Well. Oh, that's a lot of pigs. Oh. Hey, buddy. Okay. Time for that. Somehow I haven't searched this tiny shack fully. Ah, sure enough. Yeah, okay. So they're out there, but they don't like hanging out where I can see them from here. Hi. No, no, don't, don't bite me. That's rude. Okay, so... somewhere where I could easily see them from in here. I'm just throwing bullets away right now. They get stuck in here, stupid. Like, if there were fewer of them, I wouldn't feel the need to take cover. Okay, that one's down. And you're down too now, right? Okay. There we go. Problem solved. Where does the zip line lead? So the presence of this zip line and these couple of little sheds and stuff tells me that this area is going to be one of the areas in this game's mercenaries mode there's just too many lines that players can travel in in this particular area oh there's our ball the presence of so many lines that you can travel in just screams mercenaries mode Especially with there being a zip line to a place you can get by just standard walking. 100%. This is going to be like a small mercenaries area. Hello, Mr. Lycan. What are you doing in a place that also had regular-ass zombies? Ooh. Fancy. Is 
That is one pretty weapon. Fiat Voluntas Tua? Is that a T? A capital T? Maybe. I don't know. Very pretty weapon, though. Mother Miranda gave me a mountain. Now I can do lots and lots of Kato experiments. This is my secret special laboratory. I did three Kato experiments today, but they all went pop and made a mess. I put the Kato, uh, I put in the Kato, and then I tried putting wolf blood from a needle into the spine. The person wriggled a lot and then killed my assistant. I could not hold it down, so I put it in a cage. Now I have to feed it. Oh, hello, Mr. Snuffles. Well, clearly this is what they want me to do. One shot, not enough. Mr. Snuffles. I see you, Snuffles. Two shots. Which means probably actually less than two shots. Wait, really? This tiny building is his lab? This tiny building is his mountain lab? This. I was expecting something, I don't know, bigger and with actual lab equipment. Also, Seth, if it's anything like Mercenaries Mode in Resident Evil 4, it starts off with only one stage available, but more unlock as you clear them. So I'm willing to bet still that this is a Mercenaries area. Like, just this. It would be a small one, for sure. But it would su certainly work for it. Or maybe it's just laid out this way so that we've got plenty of places to hide from that Mr. Snuffles if we don't want to actually fight him. I forget, was there a way up? No. Right, the labyrinth is just over here. This is our most elaborate one of these yet. That's fun. Oh, gotta make sure to angle it there. Do I actually have to rotate it for the first time ever? No. There's too many fences. Like, there was only one place where this ball could have fallen out. A 
chartreuse skull. Thanks for the sign. What terrible things are going to await me here now? Will there be another Mr. Snuffles? Probably not, considering they already gave us another Mr. Snuffles. Time to release these dinosaurs upon the world. <laughs> Ethan, just just stab the dinosaur. dinosaurs? Nope. What's down there? Dinosaur tracks. There's an arrow pointing down there. Oh. I see. But why, though? And why can't I close this? I was thinking that maybe, like, oh, it's for if it's closed, you find something down here. But no. It was pointing at that. Is that it? No, there's also a ladder. And where can this take me? Not any further that way. Not that way, so I guess just this way. Ah, a chest. Yeah, it looks like that's the only use of this path. You doing okay, sir? Pigeon Blood Ruby, huh? How many pigeons did you need to sacrifice to get something that size? Well, looks like I'm done in the village. I still want to get back here, but I don't know if I can. Because this bridge is up. Except they revealed this after we had already crossed it, so there's got to be a way, right? And this, too. We didn't have the, the well wheel until after we got here. And it looks like there's a little path here that we haven't taken. So surely there must be a way to get over there. There's got to be. And it, it's through here, I'm sure. And we've got a crank now. So we can probably go this way. I know Heisenberg says that way, but we're not going that way yet.
Oh, you you found that, did you? Ah, oh. <laughs> my apologies. Combinable, you say? This is Lord Moreau's? I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the grotesque. Oh, looks like the Pigeon Blood Ruby might fit into this necklace. Please do take a look at my new stock. That's a pretty large jump in power. Never going to get any more capacity, though, which means no free magnum ammo. Wow, that reload speed uh, doesn't improve a whole lot. Our shotgun's empty right now, isn't it? No, it is I not. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. Seeking something in particular. You know, I half expected to see a speed loader for our Magnum. But alas. Let's go ahead and get this at this point. Yes, I can see. Still not really any need for this, though. This is all an investment. We can increase our capacity in this handgun, Please but it's full again. right now. As you wish. Best to wait till it's empty. So let's make this hit yeah. harder. And let's make this hit harder. Ah. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. Still need one more meat. Mm -hmm. four more meat, and we've got two meals complete. It's sure to be a good meal. And four more meat will come from, what, two pigs? So we just need two pigs. into the long grass? Where is their long grass? Okay, this place stayed cleared out. Yes, yeah, F, I got the special bird. <laughs> oh, long grass near the church. I mean, I've been there semi recently. Like, I killed a bunch of flying things and got this. Oh, looks like this will take us back here. Got 
how to drive it myself. Looks like we can go up river or down river. Well, let's try down the river first. See if there's anything nifty. A special fish by the look of it. Can we knife these salmon? Yes, we can. Also, they're trout. All right. Going down river was a good plan. Oh, I see. These ropes here that go into bodies of water are just there to say, hey, you can go into this body of water. This is a cave. A spooky cave. Where's this going to let out? Interesting. Um, I don't like that sound. Oh, looks like Chris's buddies have been here. Oh, they've got a foregrip for our shotgun. Increased firing rate. Yes, please. Well, whatever's down there, it might not like flashes. DNA sequencing complete. 99.95% match to Dolby Mutamycete. So, the thing that caused all the badness in Resident Evil 7. The deviation of 0.05% can presumably be attributed to artificial changes by humans, which means this is probably the source. Further investigation into how the connections managed to find and extract, extract the mold is needed. So it came from here. Interesting. The fungal colony is spread out under the entire village. When you take the Baker incident into account, the hosts of the Mutamycete are part of a network of consciousnesses. If that network is linked to here, then we could assume this organism here is data storage? If that's the case, then what data is Miranda after? Interesting. Also, whatever made the noise is apparent. Oh. Oh, hi. No, I didn't mean to reload it. I want it to be out of ammo. So is this... No, it's not going to respond to shots. It's just a big mass of fungus. But hey, I've had my second actual jump scare in this game. From those regular ass zombies. Uh, yeah, let's actually keep this gun equipped. If it runs out of ammo, then we swap to our other gun.
Okay, so we can lower this drawbridge, which we only ever saw from the other side before. Still a big old probably locked door. Right, because we came out through there originally. And this door is non-interactable. Wait, did we come out through here? Either way. And what do we get? A ladder. Not what I was expecting. Surely something terrible is down here. Um, so we got spike traps. Locked from the other side, but there's something valuable over there. Probably should have saved at that typewriter, huh? Oh. So we need to create a bridge over to there using these spike traps. So... So that one's got to stay up. Okay, that one comes up and then, like, we can push that down onto here and use it to get across. Okay, Ethan, you gotta push it a little farther than that. Okay, so now we've got our path across, and all is well. Okay, so let's see if these pigeon blood rubies do in fact... Yep. Hooray, we've completed it. Took us a long time, but we did it. Oh, and this is a coin that looks like the one from the Baker House. But we found it with uh, the BSAA guy's stuff. So it being here isn't anything particularly special. Sorry, buddy. So there's something else to be found here. Um, is the something else now findable? Or... Hopefully the something else is still findable. Ah. 
But that's not even it. There's still something else. Hopefully there wasn't anything else up there. Because I don't have a way back up. Also, I don't trust these to never fall. Oh. But that doesn't count as in here. That looks like a hole. Is that just a strangely luminous thing? Oh, that's a gap in the geometry of the world. We're seeing into the void. They left a hole. Okay, I'm missing something on the floor. I don't see anything on the floor. Why did I reload this? Force of habit. I'm so stupid. Yeah, I did find the magnum bullet. Still missing something, though. Don't know what, don't know where. Well, whatever it is, it's probably not too important. I'm just gonna feel like I'm missing something forever. And why is this one higher than the rest? Is it just to let light in? Or is it to make sure that I can still see something else that might be valuable? Invulnerable light. So there was gunpowder right here. I grabbed it. Now, if something were able to be shot down, I would guess that it would be directly above this hole. But there's nothing. There were 
flash rounds and a magnum round around here. Yeah, don't know. Keep your secrets well. I'm going to feel bad about that forever, though. But we did get the real valuable stuff out of there. I'm guessing this is locked forever. No, it is not. Is this new? Playing freaking tetherball with this. Really, you're not dropping anything? Rude. And now we can equip this and put it on our up shortcut. And honestly, I kind of prefer this one. Being able to pick one. Are you just going to spawn forever? Is that what your deal is? I mean, that would probably explain why they don't drop anything. Oh. Bunch of money, but we can't take these fancy candelabras. And what's through here? Okay, so this needs to be lit aflame, but... But where is there a fire source? I mean, there's these. But I can't do anything with those. And surely this is not long enough to go all the way over. Yeah, it's not big enough. So how does one light this? Oh, I see. Well, that was not intentional. I accidentally lit that man on fire. Oh, and a magnum bullet. You know, those magnum bullets are in surprisingly large and ornate cases for how single bullet they are. Also, Seth, I saw your tip right as the dude caught fire. <laughs> For reals, though, a single magnum bullet comes in this ornate as heck case. And takes up two inventory slots. When we could have it take up one bullet slot. Uh, 
All right, time to boat on back. That was a worthwhile little venture. Right, this isn't the way I... Wait, no, this is the way I want to be going. So I want to be saying hello to him. Oh, yes. Ah, thank you. Need two fish and four meat to cook everything in the game. To hunger to be alive. And we currently have two lockpicks, but no locks to use them on. Now this is something to splurge on. And there's 19 handgun bullets. Also, we never increased its power. Ah, it's fine. All finished. All right. Well, let's just save what money we've got left at this point. Well, save a lot of it. Not all of it. Interesting selection. That stuff does enough damage to be worth it. Uh -huh. There. Bought every bullet he's got. And might as well get one of uh -huh. these. Oh, the next one's more expensive. I guess that's supply and demand for you. Pay me no mind. Okay. Have a wonderful adventure. You just told me to pay you no mind and then you say something? Come on, man. Maybe the last fish we need will be over here. That would be nice. Rose is waiting for me. Well, she's going to have to wait a little longer. Um, I want to meat. More meat. Oh, this is all the meat I need. Well, time to go cook some meals. Get us a lot more health. If it's just looking, window shop away. But it's not just looking, it's cooking. We've gathered all the ingredients. Now. I'd love for you to enjoy as well. 
health greatly increases permanently. I love that. Dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. Thank and then health increases permanently. Not as great, but still. Here it is. Please join me. To think such a dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. And I will be done cooking in two fish. First, let's go in here, see if there's been any change. No? Still the same thing? Still the same thing. Let's save. And since Seth says there's another thing in the tall grass... Oh. It's a Mr. Snuffles who seems to have been stabbed a couple times. I wonder who did the stabbing. Might be worth using some of these. Where to go? Snuffles, there you are. Snuffles is down. A crystal ancient beast. Not to be confused with an ancient crystal beast, of course. A crystal ancient beast. show must go on. Well, I guess if it must go on, it must go on. Maybe a scond? A what? So wait, we can go through here and get to the treasure under the stronghold and we can go this way to get to Otto's mill. Well, let's go this way first. This water is enterable, judging by this, which means possible fish.
There may be a second ancient crystal beast or ancient beast thing. Why are there explode barrels here? What do I need to explode? Also, there's no fish in that water. There's more meat here? I don't need it, but okay. I can sell it. What is this music? Oh, there might be a second Mr. Snuffles in the grass, huh? I guess it's possible. I'll have to take another look once I'm done here. Hello. Well, that's not human. Too big. Those, on the other hand, could be human. Those are definitely human. Oh, great. Another one of these. Too big to come through this door. Oh, hello. Well, now we know what we're exploding. more things coming. Okay. Lots of meat. Lots of meat. Lots of meat. Okay. Can he follow me through here? No, he's too big. July 8th. Today is the day the Jolly Merchant stops by. He always gives me old newspapers. I know Miranda forbids them, but news of the outside world is always so fascinating. There was one thing that piqued my interest in the last one. It was an article about some medicine company? I don't remember the name, but their emblem looked familiar. Oh, it was about Umbrella, was it? It was the same symbol on the giant's chalice. I'm pretty sure I saw the same one painted on the walls in the cave, too. That radiating umbrella image really stands out. What's some outsider company emblem doing here? I wonder if it had anything to do with that man that stayed here all those years ago. Nah, I'm overthinking it. So, how do we know this meat is safe for consumption and not, like, human? Also, I was kind of hoping that we would be able to lead him outside to the splode barrels out there, but apparently not. At least not through here. Okay, so we've got flyers in there. So we need to run out of ammo for this. Whoa there, buddy. Out. 
Okay, now that that shotgun's empty, we can safely uh, buy the ammo expansion for it. And we can get rid of these flyers using this very cowardly strategy. can just get rid of the flyers then we can get in here and just maneuver around the big fella without needing to worry about anything else coming for us okay I think we got it not quite now we did Okay. How does our large friend feel about flashes? I suppose another question is how do we feel about flashes? I don't feel like that actually hit him. gun ammo, and that's not good. Sounds like he can call in more flyers, too. Yep. So now we're out of ammo for that. We've got plenty of shotgun bullets. I just... Well, this shotgun does hit harder, so I guess we should fill it again. Mines worked well, you say? I do have way more mines than I need. You better not trigger that mine. Boy, big fella. Got a present for you. It's right over here. No, no, no. Buddy, you gotta come back. You didn't see the present yet. Buddy, come see the present. It's right there. I'm going to drop this mine right there. That's probably a terrible place for it. This might be better. And this should also work. Um, can you not? So these flyers are uh, clearly... A little too much to ignore. Oh, 
And it looks like our big friend is down. And we can go pick up some mines that we didn't have explode. Can I just say I'm glad that they didn't lock us in here? I mean, I guess they did. There were locks on that door. But you know what I mean. This one's not locked. All right, looks like we got everything down here. Did we get everything upstairs? Does it count as the same room? It does. Just making sure we've got everything in here. So this is why we get explode barrels out here. Sir. Guessing that trophy was for killing three or more enemies with one's blood barrel or something like that. Maybe just two or more. Either way, this blood barrel did good. And we got a bunch of meat, but only one fish. I am one fish shy of being able to make every meal. And I was hoping that maybe this river would have a fish, but it did not. So where am I to get another fish? Also, since Seth says there might be another snuffles in the long or in the tall grass, I might as well go look just to be sure. If there is, I think one of these and then some other bullets will let us suss out just what we need. I don't hear any snuffling. Oh. That wasn't there before. I guess the super snuffles was guarding it. I know I'm not going to be finding all of those, but still.
in the reservoir before I saw Chris, huh? I mean, I know that when I was down there, I uh, went into the little Chris cutscene before exploring a different direction. That was over here, wasn't it? Because, yeah, there was a different direction, and I didn't go that direction because, uh, well, I saw a door, and I was like, hey, maybe there'll be a save in here. That's what I was thinking, but no. It took us straight into a cutscene. Oh, well. You didn't yell at me, and you didn't yell at me. Who was noises? Well. Whoever was noises, I'm sure we'll see them shortly. Hey, fellas. Wouldn't happen to be any of you holding dynamite, would there? So that cover from the flower seemed to do absolutely nothing for me. Do I really want to use these for those guys? No. No, I don't. Hey, buddy. You want to hop down? You sure do. There you go. This thing's supposed to have a lot of spread and be good for crowds. And yet, I have yet to hit more than one enemy with it. And we need a first aid med. his head. But this guy, I apparently can't hit for the life of me. Really? Rude. No. I said no.
I don't know why I keep my knife here. Because if you get close enough to one of these, it gives you an X prompt. I could just use X to smash the things. But I keep on swapping to my knife. I, I guess it just feels right. Even if it's not the most efficient use of my time or talents. Oh, really? I can grab it from down here? That's useful. And it can't hop up there. I hear radio static. I see a splode barrel. So surely I'm going to want to explode the barrel on something. Maybe I was supposed to press forward and explode my pursuers. Bit late for that, though. Ah! Suddenly, additional lichens. And another explode barrel. Well, I can't just leave their loot behind. Treasure under the stronghold. I'm guessing we're going to get under it on our way out. Because it would be too easy if we could get a treasure under the stronghold right now. Yeah. Probably going to be getting that on our way out. Oh, it's not radio static I'm hearing. It's all these crows. Can I shoot them? No. No, I cannot. Either that or I missed, but if I did miss, I didn't miss by very much. Bunch of ammo. door open. A bunch of ammo. So there's a ladder. And then there's some stairs. I probably need to take both to throw two levers to open the door. <gasps> Come on, go closer, buddies. Oh, that worked. Um, hi! Who invited you to my platform? Also, who told you that you were allowed to be missed by me? Kind of hoping they'd be a little closer to that explosion. Okay, we've got more of them. Am 
Might as well give that a pull. That was close. Ah, dang it. Ran out of shots while I wasn't looking. And we are out of first aid again. Um, rude. Shouldn't have reloaded this. If I'm reloading shotguns, I should really be using the other one. Because this one, we can get a free reload, and we know it. But hey, looks like the lichens are done coming, so we're good. All right, that's it. And if you'll give me just a moment, I need to quickly send a text. Okay, text sent. Let's try one more time to see if we can shoot a crow. Yeah. Those are absolutely invulnerable crows. Also, Seth, they were all dropping loot, which tells me that they might not be permanent respawners until the door is open. They might just be a fixed number. Just a large fixed number. yellowish which makes me want to shoot it but I don't think it's actually something shootable This must be their den. Must be. But I missed something over here. Ah. Uh, ah? Nope, not ah. Uh. Just another little gap in the terrain.
So where have I missed something? I would guess somewhere around here there would be something, because <sighs> otherwise why let us climb up past the door that we're supposed to go to? And yet I see nothing. My next guess would be that there would be something in one of these alcoves. But some of them are too high up for poor Ethan to really see. And even the ones that aren't don't appear to have anything. Oh well, I'm sure we'll be able to come back. More splode barrels? Come on. Combat is not this game's strongest suit. Like, it certainly works. But it's not what you play this game for. shotgun anyway. There, that ought to buy us some time. Excuse me, where were you when I flashed? on only making one first aid. Rude. Stop spawning in, jerks. Oh, that, that was the wrong button. I'm guessing these guys are going to spawn for a long time. It sounds like there's still more. sounds like there's more than one more so I'm just wasting my bullets
jerk. Someone at Capcom definitely has it out for Ethan's arms. Okay, so there's actually a lot of them. Here you go, guys. Yeah, let's ride this. Really? They can hit me while I'm riding it? Jerks. a big guy and we've got all this nothing to deal with him well we've got that rude I've got nothing left to heal with I've got something left to heal with Wow, that guy can sure take a beating. And apparently Ethan is immune to landmines. And the music is calming down, which means that we are out of dudes. And if we're out of dudes, that means I can explore around and grab anything we left. <sighs> Definitely used up way too many resources, though. Those pipe bombs are nice. Really? You better be alone, buddy. He's not alone. Okay. So I guess we gotta play their little games for a bit. Not yet time to go scrounging for things. That said, I appear to have successfully scrounged for most of the things. All of the things. I'm going to trust that they can't come through that door. Or at least that they won't. Ooh, more magnum ammo. I almost shot that with this. You know what? I should swap back to our explosive rounds. Just seems like a smart thing to do. Oh, hello.
Surely nothing terrible will happen to me when I s sidle on through here. Yep, definitely nothing awful waiting on the other side of that. I will have no regrets if I go over there, that's for sure. Hey, fellas. You having a good time? I hope so. So when are they going to notice me? Now? Okay. Ooh, free first aid med. Don't mind if I do. The king's orders finally arrived. Withdraw. It is most vexing that we must abandon the border stronghold to those heretics. If I had but a little more time, I know I might be able to turn the tides of this battle. Nay, I should not put on airs. It is my curiosity that ties me to this place. There are a number of ruins in the vicinity which the locals say are very ancient. The ceremony site with four giant statues. The caves with murals carved on the walls. The stone plinth they call the giant's chalice. Where did the people who built them come from? Where did they go? It irks me that we must abandon this place without knowing. They're giving us far too many supplies. I mean, I know we just came through a gauntlet of enemies and we're probably going through another, but like... All of these supplies and a typewriter. Nothing good is going to happen through this pathway. Nah, Seth, I don't think any lichens were getting it on. I think they were just chewing on suspended corpses. And nothing good will be through here. That much I can guarantee. And this area seems open enough that we will probably have something to fight. Maybe that big fella from way early on. This music says there's something to fight here. That's not good. Those sounds say it's that big fella from way early on. That did nothing to him. He might still be invulnerable while he's up there. See, he flinched from that one. Alright, this thing's empty. Let's not let him jump on us. Are you calling friends? He's calling friends. Well, shot him through one of them. Missed. So here's a plan. We can put in a flash. Oh, he smashed his buddy. You're not dead, are you? No, no, you're not. No, don't, don't throw that at me. I was using that for cover. got pipe bomb. I was about to say pipe bombs, but there's only the one. It's at least good for getting rid of the little guys. Oh, 
And looks like he's dead. Eat shit. Uh, he's already dead. I don't think he's going to eat anything, Ethan. Well, it would have been nice to have those pipe bombs earlier. But I was too busy focusing on the big fella, not on what was around him. Ooh. Can I break off a piece of this? The answer is actually yes. Several. Did I get them all? I feel like there's more pieces that could be broken off. All right, give me this giant one. Of course, the map says I'm done getting things in here, which means I'm done getting things in there. The map is absolute. <laughs> all right, Heisenberg. What are you going to top? Oh, wow. That's already right here. So we passed your test, did we? Um Are you on what? You're the real deal, Ethan. Well done. Quit hiding, asshole. I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more, and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange. In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. Well then. Googly Elmo? Okay, so the plate's nice, but the stand is also very nice. Why don't we take that, too? That's probably worth something. Like, it seems like it would be a set with the plate. And it would be worth taking the stand also. Just me? Am I the only one who thinks that?
So we can go further down, or we can go up. Oh, to come out that door that was locked forever ago. Well, let's see what's further down. It's probably goodies. Maybe also something absolutely terrible. Kadu Implantation Notes. Subjects 174 to 181. Subject 174. Mihai M. Characteristics 21. Male Silversmith. Scars from Pneumonia. Results? Low affinity. Kadu failed to grow. Body transformation. Drop in cognition. Another lichen. Sent to pasture. Subject 177, Bernadette B. Characteristics, 21, female, no occupation, no history of illness. Results, death. Subject 181, Alcina D. Ah, Lady D. Characteristics, 44, female, noble descendant, not from the village, hereditary blood disease. Results, very high affinity, no loss of cognition, arbitrarily able to control body transformation. Applied Cognition Control Procedure. Sent for observation. Fascinating. Pipe bomb and shotgun ammo. This game doesn't give things like that away for free. Like, they always give them to you when they expect you to use them in the very near future. And, well... This guy's not worth a pipe bomb. Neither is that guy. So if they've got enough friends, then I could see the value. Could have been worse. Still more stuff in here. What have I missed? Yeah, I've already killed it. Alright, time to head on out. Let's see if there's anything else over here. One last time. I don't hear anything. Didn't get attacked by anything. Yep, looks like the uh, Super Snuffles was the last thing in here. Which I'm cool with. I didn't need anything past Super Snuffles. Really, Heisenberg? You're not going to clean up after yourself? So, I didn't get everything here. I want to go have a look just to see if I can't find whatever I missed. It's probably nothing, but like... Even nothing is still something. 
if you catch my drift. Like, even if it's two handgun bullets, that's still something to have. So yes, I've missed something here. Don't know what, though. Don't know what I'm looking for. Don't know where I'm looking for it. Just know that there is something to be found. Found it. That was worth a bullet. I bet the Duke will let us upgrade our weapons again when we get to him. Also, Heisenberg, for reals, you ought to clean up after yourself. You put all this here, but there's no reason for it to be here anymore. I know the game says we've already cleared out the fish here, but, like, it's really lame if they actually let us not get all the fish in the game. Like, I feel like there should be a fish respawn somewhere, just in case. It's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. Ah, yes, yes. Wow, that ancient beast is worth a lot. No, no, I'm more than happy to purchase it. I 
I've gotten some new stock. Huh, still no new upgrades, though. Well, let's get this, because that shotgun's empty right now. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. It's expensive, but we've got money to burn. To me. Yeah, These cheap. hands are more dexterous than one might think. Delighted to. Mm -hmm. We've got plenty of cash to burn right now. So, I mean, we're probably going to have to spend basically all of this just on power upgrades for this when they become available. But hey. One moment, please. These upgrades, again, are fairly cheap. And we'll be getting more money. I'm sure of it. Delighted to. There. No upgrades left to buy at the moment. Please do take a look at my new stock. What new stock? Like these were already here. And so were these. You buy this <laughs> just to have it. There were a couple points very recently where I felt like I guess it could have been mildly useful. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. All right, well, time to put the flasks in the slots. What was that? Uh, Rose's memories, I think. They didn't look nice, though. No memories for that one, though. Well, we know where to put what? that. Is Heisenberg just making us finish the ritual for them? Is Ethan being too trusting? Um... Well, we just grabbed the giant's chalice. Have we been in that direction? No, we haven't. So, like, that factory-looking place is somewhere we have not been. Is it somewhere we're about to go? It sure is, Seth. It is definitely part of the job description. Ever since Resident Evil 1. Um... Yeah.
You know, Ethan, you were too willing to give up your pieces of rose. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in you. Like, if Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. It'll be fine. Will it? Just get your ass across the bridge. Sure. Oh, look, a typewriter. Convenient. I didn't think you'd make it past daughter Moreau, but I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I like you. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. Sounds super what trustworthy. Also, Seth, pauses like the ones that happened on that elevator there are generally indicative of loading happening. Elevators like that are almost always disguised loads anyway. So yeah, if something hitches while you're on an elevator in a video game, nine times out of ten, it's just because the game is loading something and didn't quite do it fast enough. Well, Seth, I wasn't using a shotgun on that elevator. I had a pistol. So it couldn't be about Resident Evil shotguns creating time distortions. Also, I feel like there should be something to grab in this big empty field. But there's nothing that I can see. And this field is too big to just be set dressing. Like, surely we're going to fight something here at some point. But then again, it's big, it's outdoor, and the sun is shining on it. And those things tend to not mix with fights in Resident Evil games. At least the sunshine part. Resident Evil 5 notwithstanding. Why are you reading books without titles? At least without titles on the spines. High power gas stove? Well, really? That single chem fluid's all that was in here? So we got a little radio. And a saw, and a wrench, and an awl. Oh, Lady D's gone. Hi, Mia. Hi, Rose. Hi, Chris. I guess they want us to pull back the curtain. Mother. What the hell? Mia? True her go. <gasps> Let me guess. You're saying take me out like the others, and then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, y y you got this all wrong. Tell me I'm talking. Shut your fucking hole! I'm sorry about that. Take a seat. Right in front of the open trap door, you're Listen, gonna push us through. Ethan, you're being played. By you? What are you talking about? You think this is a game? 
I said sit! <sighs> Lady, supersized bitch! Ugly, a psycho doll! An amoronic freak! Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are! And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain, well, fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful that kid is? I think Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! You and me, then. Together, we can go save Rose, and we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you! <laughs> Last chance. You don't have to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. You're a few. I knew we were going to be sent down the hole. Oh. Hello, airman. So clearly this is just a runaway. Do I need to? Yeah, I just need to run from here, man. What was that thing? Airman. Have you never played Mega Man 2? Also, it's a good thing Ethan is just as impervious to fall damage as Leon was in RE4. I feel like we should be able to grab a little bit more rusted scrap from this place than we have already. Did I miss a ladder? I missed a ladder. It's possible I've missed some rusted scrap already. Hey guys. Oh, uh, what's the things in your heads? Don't. 
Okay, good. We got everything here. place is messed up. I've got to get upstairs. Um, where are you getting all the bodies? That's a few too many. Yes, map, just not a map we can take with us. Not a map that shows us the layout of anything other than the general side view structure. So we were just in there, and now we're here. I hear a merchant. I thought I heard a merchant. Oh, I did. He was just the other way. Wow, you're uh, hanging out in a lift, are you? You got new upgrades for me. Shall I choose something for you? He does have new upgrades for me. So should I sell my poultry and meat? I don't need them, I've do I? I've some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Yeah, because I just need one more fish. Carry on. And I apparently can't get it. And I don't need anything else, so... Yeah, I should sell my extra poultry and meat. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. I've got two extra lockpicks and nothing to pick with them. Okay, we've got more upgrades for our rifle, and for this handgun, for this shotgun, and for this magnum. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. I feel like that's a good spend right there, in increasing our magnum's damage. And beyond there, a little bit of that action. Definitely want to do this too, but we can't afford it. We are very far from affording it, in fact. This is all an investment, even. Oh, we can get a bigger uh, bag, and we can get two new weapons that are very expensive. Power 1160? This is a shotgun? Wow. Focus shots powerful against single enemies. Neat. Insanely powerful, too, but yeah, we absolutely cannot afford it. Please come again. So, before we take the elevator, we explore all paths available to us on this floor. Easy to break, you say. Oh, 
Not just a standard crystal skull, a poly crystal skull. Hopefully I'm coming this way for a reason. Locked, perhaps by this. Hey, fellas. What are those things on your heads? Are they just there to take a single headshot for you? make some more handgun ammo. And I mean, not without reason, but they keep telling me, hey, make more. We do have the gunpowder and scrap to make a bunch. But we've also got way more chem fluids than we do gunpowders, or than we do herbs. So it's probably to our benefit to make some of this stuff. In terms of the amount of chem fluid, gunpowder, and rusted scrap we have, this game wants us to make shotgun ammo right now. And we can make one of these. And then a couple of these. And we've got plenty of metal scrap, but not a whole lot of gunpowder. We can make one pipe bomb. And heck, we can make a few mines. Why not? Kind of gross that these take herbs. There we go. Used up some of our materials. We've still got plenty of space left. No real reason to get the bigger case. At least not unless we get the additional guns. Okay. Uh, dude's got some nails in his head. Am I supposed to recognize or care about that? Okay. So we need a mold for the casting machine. Locked from the other side. Hole in wall, you say? And that also requires something we don't have. My controller just vibrated for no reason, and now I'm scared.
Stay down. Hey, a pickable lock, finally. Here I was thinking that we just got some extra lock picks. Not that we would actually be able to use them. Hello. Is that a chainsaw you've got there? That looks like a chainsaw type thing. And I'm sure we're going to have to kill you. Oh no, that's a gun arm. Not sure if better or worse. Or no, that's a drill arm. Okay. So, uh... Don't know that I'm actually accomplishing anything. I feel like if I stab the face enough, then we won't have to worry about it. Did he do this too? I feel like I shouldn't stand directly in the line of fire of that drill. Well, surely that guy's not going to get up as soon as I grab whatever's in this. Surely. That's not at all how Resident Evil games work. Wow, Ethan, you're carrying around those giant things? Yeah, I figured. Oh, hey, this is the... This is the guy that we saw a picture of way back when. Ow. Are you perhaps immortal? No, you're dead now. And still can't hit that. So clearly we'll be back here later. And now we've got a mold. Which I imagine will give us whatever we need to put there, judging by the shape. Leaf of a horse. <laughs> Seems useful. Hey, yeah, put it right here. Instantly useful. There's still something to find here, though. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna need to make a different mold, I see what it is. I see you there. Okay, for a moment, I was thinking that that was, like, attached to the body of some giant enemy, but no. 
These are things we're going to have to shoot, aren't they? Hey, another lockpick. Lock. Magnum ammo. Not bad. I should probably use some of that at some point. Oh, cool. There's more enemies here. Well, they give us shotgun ammo. That means they want us to use it. Hey, no shooting required for that one. So that one's a little too distant. Hey, there's a guy who can use a shotgunning. A couple of them. Oh, more than a couple. You know, we were given pipe bombs, or I made pipe bombs, for a reason. Actually, let's use mines. There you go, fellas. Nice miss, Ethan. So clearly I need to save my handgun ammo for these. Oh. I uh, probably don't want to go through there while it's still active, huh? What about this guy? Will he get beat up by it? Or will he just not even risk it? friend. There you go. It's a real waste using those on single enemies, but like, I'm real low on bullets. So I stopped those just to get through here. Did that also make another path up there, maybe? missed something in there. Back we go.
wherever it is, it doesn't seem to be back here. Did I not focus my gaze on my first trip through here? Aha! from the other side. I wonder how we're going to get to the other side. Probably by coming through. Oh. That's a lot of drillmen. A lot of drillmen. Too many drillmen. And that looks explodable. So we found our way back here. I've got a pipe bomb. But they'll probably give me one for free in here. But then again, we can use one of the ones we have and then just keep the free one later. That seems like the kind of thing that might activate five drillmen. Missing a cog, you say. Wait. That was a treasure? I expected it to be a key item. Well, if it's a treasure, that means that maybe they won't be giving us a free pipe bomb. Also, Seth, that right there being the same thing that was on those arms is why I thought to shoot them. Well, now we've got a lower level map. Mechanical Soldier, Soldat, version 1.00, fully grown male corpse used, removed heart and implanted kadu, muscle stimulation via electric shock was successful, brain dead so no high cognitive ability, only moves by destructive instinct then stops. Version 1.01, .01, attached headgear to the cranium, electrodes confirm stable brain waves, experiment 1, lichen fight, was dismantled and eaten within three minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. 
version 1.10. Replace lower part of arm with drill. Not enough output for effective movement. Need live bodies, perhaps? Version 1.15. Implanted Kadu reactor into the chest. Output greatly increased. Experiment 2, lichen fight. Destroyed three lichens in one minute. Good results, but issues with reactor durability. May stop functioning if the, re if the reactor is destroyed. This is clearly the trigger for something, like maybe five drillmen. It's gonna be the five drillmen, isn't it? Like, we're opening this door, which takes us past the five drillmen, or could take us past, well, will take us past the five drillmen to get to the casting machine. How many are going to wake up? One. Well, we've got plenty of bullets for this. That did it. Yes, I could use this. In fact, I could use it right back through here. So only one of you is waking up, right? Okay, good. Because if it was more than one, I'd have to use more magnum bullets. Magnum bullets are worth it for big fellas like them, but for regular enemies, absolutely not. But I'm running low on regular bullets for regular enemies. <laughs> That's not a good sound. And yet... Oh, Ethan. Oh. Such a disappointment. I thought we could join forces again. That bitch Miranda. Truly, truly disappointing. If it's any consolation, Heisenberg, we are after Miranda. She took me. Took us. To be her children. She locked us away in the village. <laughs> Decades of being forced to serve her. Can you even understand that humiliation? I mean, like, seriously, you know... I'm you not like my siblings. I want nothing more than to be free of that bitch. <sighs> so I need power. I need enough power to destroy her. You know for a fact Ethan is trying to kill her, so... are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. You should have never refused me, Ethan. Yeah, you know for a fact Ethan's trying to kill her, so... Maybe just leave him be. Let him do the work for you.
Oh, zappy doos. Well, if there's another drillman, then we could probably use that zappy doo. Another drillman. Come on down, Mr. Driller. You know, I keep on spending a whole lot of bullets just to get stuff worth money. And unless we're getting more capacity upgrades, that's not really a positive value proposition at the moment. Also, there's still something missing in here. Or rather, I'm still missing something. In here. Also, the zappy do is back. Oh, this is openable. And Seth, the reason I'm using sniper shots instead of shotgun is it's at least numbers-wise higher damage, I think. Yeah, 800 versus 1,000. And you can put that 1,000 right on the chest thing, and the lore leads me to believe that the chest thing is what you need to destroy to stop the man. Still missing something in there, though. Okay, still missing something downstairs. And also, if this counts as a separate room, I'm still missing something in here. So many things are escaping my notice. I'm going to assume that this tiny room doesn't count as separate. I'm just missing something that's lying around in this room. Oh, there's a cabinet here. Okay, tiny room does count as separate. So what am I still... Okay, I can close it again. Well, that doesn't accomplish anything other than make it not open anymore. Aha! And can't reach that with my knife, so... Done. There we go.
So clearly there's going to be another Mr. Driller in here. Or just regular dudes. I mean, hey, if, if they want to be zapped by my zappy do. Um, will it zap me? Apparently not. Hey! That's the first time I've managed to actually push something. Ooh, I shot the wall. Or the pipe. How much punishment do these guys take? I see more driller capsules. Also, I think I hear the sounds of a drill. So clearly this is going to open somehow. Like maybe when I restore power to this place or something. Or maybe this guy's going to bust through somewhere. double drills and I don't see his little control thingy which means it's probably on his back come on over double driller okay so he can bust through those Which means that maybe we can convince him to bust through the other one. The other one being over here? Ow. Nah, it doesn't look like we can. But what I can do... Missed. Do you not care about that? I wish you did. Okay, Zappy Doo looks like it's ready to zap again. Okay, this time he cared. Oh. He didn't even stay stunned by it. 
Well, we've got some explosive rounds to use. I can't imagine he'd appreciate those. Yeah, that worked. So this is still unbroken. But the other dude is in there, so he's going to wake up at some point, surely. Yeah, he'll let us in later, I'm sure. Oh, if we shoot the sleeper, he wakes up? Okay, that makes sense. Oh. And once he lets us in, we'll get him taken out. Two magnum shots and a shotgun shot. Not ideal. At least we were repaid for the magnum stuff. What's this? Oh, was it a bit of him? Definitely got to make sure we actually hit them in the heart with the magnum. We still didn't get everything down there. Felt sure I would have gotten everything once we got into the room with the sleeper. Maybe there will be something to shoot down in that little room. I'm not seeing anything. I wonder what I've missed. Well, whatever it is, it can't be too important. Still missing something downstairs.
Well, there's power here now. Ooh. Still missing something down here, but maybe, oh, wow, a whole box. More than one. Money. And a few bullets. Good. I like bullets. We still haven't got everything in here. Oh well. Not that it really matters at this point. Unless we could get there easily. Which I don't see easy paths to it. So let's just go through here. game doesn't give us shotgun ammo for no reason. Also, this is yellow. Yellow is supposed to mean interactable. Okay, I'm still missing something in this hallway, and I don't want to have that be the case. So I shall take another close look at my surroundings. a drawer? Oh, so there is. Wow. That would have sucked to miss. So clearly there's going to be another Mr. Driller. Another double driller. dead. So there's nothing else to find in here. Also, I feel like I probably shouldn't be using up all of my magnum ammo. Because there's probably, you know, an actual boss that I'm going to want it against. Hello, airman. Something tells me he's not killable. At least not at the moment. Not until we can get behind him. Uh, do we have forever or only a limited time here? I'm guessing we have exactly until we open this door. Or not. Wow, that's a lot of Mr. Drillers. Also, hey, we're back here. We never opened that. There's power to that place now, right? Maybe the switch will work.
So that just takes us up further. Let's not go somewhere new just yet. And this will let us call the Duke up to us. So I guess it's a good thing I didn't try to use his elevator earlier. Thanks to your consistent patronage, I've expanded my services. And how did you manage to do that without leaving this As place? You wish. Looks like the expansion Please of your services. Take a look at my new stock. Well, you've got more stuff here. So we've got access to another capacity boost for this shotgun, so I should empty it out. This one's never upgrading again. This is going to get two more power boosts. We've been using this as our boss killer or whatever. I feel like investing in it more is a good plan. Uh -huh. This should be enough. Please do take a look at my new stock. I wish that these didn't keep getting marked as new. Because I don't want to buy them and have them take up space in my inventory. These, on the other hand, I want to buy all of and have take up space in my inventory. Thank you for your purchase. Oh. Ooh. I want to buy this. SYG12. Oh, that's for that one. We don't have that one, so it doesn't matter. And B61 is that one. Yeah. But this, I do want. Because that'll be just a free refill of... Well, not free. It's 10... <laughs> Alright, it's a hundred thousand, but that will be a refill of seven magnum shots by the look of it. So I was gonna consider doing this for the sniper bullets. To hunger. But uh have a wonderful adventure. Yeah, I think we're fine on sniper bullets for now. So we're going to come back through here just a little bit. There probably won't be additional enemies for us to worry about. So this is purely a loot grabbing run. For now. So going through here takes us down there where there's a something. And going down here and then through there takes us to the foundry where we need to cast something else, but also where we can get to this switch. Which we might not be able to operate, but we might. It's worth a shot. This place is still dark, so I imagine... Oh, hey, it does open. I see Mr. Drillers. Well, 
another lockpick. I see several Mr. Driller. I see a Mr. Driller. Just a single driller. Oh! Wow. So, that was brutal. And I should avoid that again under all or under any circumstances. Yeah, Seth, I think I uh, prefer sniper rifle on these guys over shotgun. Yeah, it turns out standing in front of a drill that is about to go through you is not the greatest plan. Who could have seen this coming? So I'm guessing these guys are going to not wake up. Yeah, he's not got any juices in him. Yeah, if they don't react to being hit, that means they're never going to wake up. Like, there's no blood effect or anything. Medical log. Revitalization surgery. This is my 18th attempt. The subject is Oscar the Stable Boy. 20 years old. He fell down the well while drunk. Body is in good condition. Chest incision complete. Now to remove the heart and vital organs and implant the control device. Excellent. Cadeau has begun adhering to the nervous system. It's progressing even faster than before. It seems upping the ratio of meta-albumin in the artificial blood was the right choice. Now to pass a current through the brain stem using 6,600 volts. Come on. It has to work this time. Yes. Yes! Ha 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 ha! Wonderful! My creation! At last! I'll get that bitch yet. Ha 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 ha! Ending recording. So it's Kado. I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. Ooh, a long barrel for our magnum. In previous games, that has increased the power of a magnum. And it does the same here. Plus 200, not bad. It's about 10% stronger. I kind of expected there to be a path between these, and this would be where I get Heisenberg's key, but I guess not. That was a worthwhile prize. So there's probably something, well, no, there's definitely something in here. It's just a matter of how I get it. We'll find out. Maybe. We'll try to find out. That's down here. Was there something shootable in here? Not that I can see. No drawers that I missed. Nothing under the table. Is this locked forever? It might be locked forever. Is 
Yeah, this way is blocked. The other way is blocked. So there's no way for us to get back in there that I can see. Unless there's a path through here, which there might be. But if so, it's not worth it. So let's find our way back out. So this would take us back in there, but again, probably not worth it. Where am I even going? I feel like I'm going a very wrong direction. Where's this connect? Well, whatever. Let's just go this way until we can't anymore. Oh, this is where we just escaped Airman. I wonder where Airman is now. Kind of odd that they'd let us back in here, but not the other place. Also, I definitely took a wrong turn somewhere. Now I'm lost forever. So... Where did I go wrong? Am I supposed to go through here? No, because that takes me down to here. Through here? No, because that's where I just was. Except this is also through there. Is this actually it? This is actually it. Okay, yeah. All right. Found it. We made it back. Naturally. Food is life. Mm. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. So do I. Let's continue exploring. Got a long way to go. You know, it's kind of sad. Every Resident Evil game, the best parts are the parts where it's not super action-y, where you're trying to, to just... Uh, where, where you're afraid of combat, not because... You're running low on bullets. Well, Anders thinks yeah. we're nothing but children. Oh, she doesn't care for us. No. She's long lost all her humanity. I must destroy her. So must we. Don't give Let a us shit do it. About your family drama. Yeah, the best parts of every Resident Evil game are the parts where. You're nervous about stuff. Not where there's combat always. But there's combat sometimes and you feel like you have to avoid it. 
And almost every Resident Evil game devolves into just use bullet on enemy by the end. Which this game has definitely done. I just kind of wish that, like, Lady D's castle was the most interesting part of this game, in my opinion. I, I wish that more of the game was like that and less like this. That's a big drill. Imagine if they put that on Mr. Driller's arm. These guys each take way too many shotgun shells. Apparently two if I shoot them in the chest rather than the head. Ow! You're still not gone? Still, two shotgun shells is way too many for a regular zombie. Another lockpick. We're still getting more of those than we are finding locks. Can we turn this thing on? Oh, hello. I bet the canary died. So let's take another look around, make sure we're not missing anything obvious. So, I'm not seeing any obvious things we're missing. I'm thinking, judging by the fact that there's like a catwalk up there, that maybe this will be lowered. Oh, hello. Well, I was going to say I was thinking that maybe this will be lowered and then on top of it will be a thing. But apparently no, at the base of it will be a thing. Also, Ethan has the mystical power to pass through spider webs without them attaching to him. Truly, he is gifted. Well, down we go. And that sure looks explodable. 
And they did just give us one of these, so... Alright, just a uh, trade a pipe bomb for some crystals and stuff. How did they... Oh, they bricked it over. That's how they got a light in here. When it was a bombable wall. It was a brick bombable wall. That's right. Bricks are added to places after they are established. That's how bricks work. They aren't naturally occurring. Oh, that would power a really big airman. Got one first aid med right now. That's enough at the moment. Not enough that I feel the need to craft more immediately. Or not low enough, rather. If time didn't pause while we were in the inventory, things would be different. But it does, so they're not. So before we go up... This takes us to a separate level, right? It does. So we're still missing something down here. Oh. Another one? Hey, guys. You've got jetpacks now. Can't say I'm a fan. No siree. He's not fully dead. And he's got a laser. So you can turn a little bit at the end of that. Looks like we've actually got some stairs back down to the lower level. So maybe the stuff we're missing down there is past them. Also, I need to grab that uh, crystal heart. Leaving it there would be a huge waste. stairs back down, but we can't take them. We... Oh, we can't quite aim at that from here.
giant grinder, you say? So maybe once we shoot that last one, something's going to drop down here. That's a possibility. Because, yeah, I'm not seeing anything missing right now. Hey, Wolfkinson, things have been good. We've been fighting Mr. Driller. Frequently. Okay, so that drops me down to a place I've already been. Whereas this lets me actually shoot that out. So, oh, this lets me go up that ladder, so I actually had to do that. Oh, did this shaft just count as one area? Maybe it did. Oh, another thing, Wolfkinson, we've been running from Airman. Sure is convenient that this managed to stop in the uh, perfect configuration to be used as stairs. <coughs> nice miss, Ethan. <coughs> it is levels? Well, whatever. I don't care. Probably not missing anything important. Soldat Enhancement. Soldat Jet. Attached a jet pack and head stabilizers to a soldat. Greatly improves mobility. Experiments prove limited flight capabilities. No long distance flight, but now possible to navigate rugged terrain. Soldat Enhancement. Soldat Panzer. Attached aluminum alloy shielding to a soldat to protect chest reactor and exposed flesh. Experimentation proves he is invincible against regular firearms. Armor doesn't hold up against strong blasts. Further development needed. Okay, so you're telling me use mines and or uh, pipe bombs. This seems missable. Oh, hello. Wonder what's in there. Yeah, this seems missable, so we're going in here first. This also seems dead endy, so yeah. Oh, so we're going to cast the mold for the labyrinth here. Fascinating. Anything else missing in here?
so this still counts as the same room so if there was anything up here it would be what was keeping this place from going blue but I don't see anything so back down we go I want to find anything oh there's a drawer these don't look like drawers to me there's no handles and I missed something in the hole too another one of these like, seriously, there's no handle. I don't like it. I mean, I guess there's a little groove for grabbing, but there's no distinct handle. And that was 30 handgun bullets. That's very nice. It's nicer than they've been here. Um... That seems like an issue. Wow, strong enough suction to pull me through the air. Shit, that was close. Like, it didn't just pull me off onto the ground and then drag me. It was pulling me through the air. That is some incredible suction. And we are off map. And we are back on map. That was weird. There's a big button, but we're not allowed to push it. I don't like this. Oh, it's for if we come back. I get it. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. If that happens, it's all over. For your kids. And for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use rose. To kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. They're giving us grenade rounds and shotgun shells in here. And there's a big chest probably featuring something nice. Yeah, there's no way we're not fighting something on the other side of this door. 
Unless we're not fighting something on the other side of this door. That looks like a zip line to me. How are we going to get up there? There's more? Clearly. Oh, the zip line goes from up there to down there. From down below, it looked like it was the other way. So now we need to go cast the key for this. And I guess if we drop down here, then we can go over this way. Not bad. <laughs> kind of expected there to be an item over here too. But I guess not. Oh wait. I guess so. Aha. I really should have smashed this when I had the chance. And that's why. Just thinking of ways to pass the time. This is all an investment, even. Yeah, you've said that before, buddy. Your coin. And time to get that. Increased capacity cylinder for our Magnum. <laughs> Absolutely not equipped now. Because that will be a... F well, not a free refill. It was very expensive. But it will be a refill of our Magnum ammo. And then how are Until our weapons next we meet. They're all full. Well, one of our oh, weapons yes. isn't full. Let's go ahead and buy some more handgun bullets. 21 of them. One moment, please. Nah. Please come again. And now to go cast some things. So we are going through here, and then straight through. It's dark. That's not good.
All right. Well. Another one. Ah, yes. He was in front, not behind. Door. Oh, fine. Wait for him. So three shots. That's not bad. And I like treasure, so we're casting the ball first. Weren't these balls supposed to be special because they contained the remains of the guy who made the labyrinths? Or, or the family of the guy who made the labyrinths? The fact that we can just cast one kind of takes away from that. as well make one. Okay. So I want to go here. I hear bad enemies. I see enemies. I didn't equip the correct shotgun. I put it on my quick select, but I didn't equip it. Take that door. There. We're trying to empty this out so that we can buy the expansion for it. Alright, what am I missing in here? The big obvious trunk. Oh, a big old hammer. Ah, yes, Heisenberg's hammer, the one that he was holding when he uh, first confined us way back when. No, 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 stop. Thank goodness I can stop reloading. My controller is rumbling and that tells me there are enemies nearby. And so does that. Oh, that's the one, or the kind that's uh, covered in armor. There you go, buddy. Oh, that's not the shotgun I want to be emptying.
From your heart. I don't like when you do that. Okay, uh need to not back myself all the way into a corner. And he's down. And with that being a perfect crystal mechanical heart, that tells me we're probably not going to encounter any tougher versions of Mr. Driller. So I need to go through this door. Yes. Oh boy, another one? Here you go, Mr. Driller. Okay, you know what? Takes more than one shot to the heart with the Magnum. There. This is empty. If it's just looking, window shop away. It's not just looking. Aha! So this gets us more bullets. Ah, it's fine. All finished. This gets us more power. I need to use more of our sniper shots so that we can upgrade its capacity, get some more bullets. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. Yeah, I don't see any more need to spend money right this moment. Thank you for your patronage. So up we go. And now we get to go through here. You really are a tough one. But I'm tired of chit chat. Time to die. You can hear it, can't you? Someone. Is it Airman? Also, for reals, Heisenberg, we both want the same thing. We want Miranda dead. Just We just disagree on the method. Prototype, Sturm. He used a cheap turboprop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge. Too much power output from the reactor. Completely invincible head-on. But the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms off on the propeller. Also issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion, a complete failure. So yeah, that's Airman. I kind of expected a typewriter over here. Where is the nearest typewriter? Has there even been one for like a while? Oh, I didn't even do the labyrinth puzzle. I need to do that. 
before we get too far away. Oh, there's a typewriter right here. Whoops. Was too busy trying to rotate our view. Forgot to keep the thing from falling out. So that's yellow, which means good. So is this a shortcut? Nope. And if it is one, then we probably have to tilt the thing again to catch it. Because if we just tilt it over, then it falls straight out. Maybe in this case, yellow just means be careful. Yeah, that's, that's not a path. Almost made it in the trolley. This is the first one I've actually had a fall on. And I've had several. this time um oh the the trolley is also moving based on how we tilt the thing it's not self-powered so we've got to move the trolley over without moving it so far that our ball slips this is good information Dang it. I'll get it eventually. And actually looking at the time, once I do get this, that's where we're ending the stream, because uh, it's getting kind of late here, and I need to be up in eight hours. Whoops. Whoops. So we get some riveting ball labyrinth gameplay to finish out the night. And we'll get to fight Airman another day. Come on. Okay, really? That one wasn't even my fault. Go 
Go on. There you go. Okay, maybe it is self-powered. It's just tricky. The little trolley moved uphill just then. So I guess it just goes and starts and stops and you don't want to let it drop you out. At least now we know. Everything is a learning experience. Come back, Paul. That trolley's a trickster. All right, trolley. You've had your fun. Um, trolley? You gonna... Do I need to, like, launch out of it? Because I was expecting the trolley to, like, go... Oh, I see. It, it's... Where it stops, there's more track that your ball can actually run on. Whoops. not trust the trolley. It is a trickster. There we go. And I believe we are home free. Hooray. Bister. It's not a, uh, not a stone that I am familiar with. You wish to make a purchase? No, I wish to make a sale. And then we'll go up deal. to B1 again. Out. And then we will save, and the stream will end. And there we go. So thanks everyone for coming along. Uh, yeah, we're probably getting real close to the end of this game. So yeah, uh, next stream is going to be tomorrow. Probably around the same time as this one, 6.30ish. Because I prefer playing this game when it's dark out so that I can actually see in the dark places. Because the thing about playing on an OLED TV 
if it is bright in the room, it's very hard to see things on the TV in dark scenes because true blacks, etc., etc. So yeah, join us next time, tomorrow, probably around 6.30 p.m. We may finish this or we may just get closer to the end. See you then, friends. <laughs>